Picture yourself playing a heated tennis match. The sweat drips into your eyes and you wipe it with the back of your hand. The ball sails toward you and you shuttle sideways to crush it back over the net with your racket. Blink and picture yourself running instead. The sweat is still in your eyes, your legs are burning, and you can see your stopping point in the distance. Each step forward that you take gets you closer to the end of your run. So what's the variation between these two scenarios? If you answered the direction of your movement, you're correct. Tense players move laterally while runners move forward. This is also a key difference between tense shoes and running shoes. When looking for tennis shoes, lateral stability and lateral support should be at the forefront. Each athletic shoe is built to support the type of movement you perform when doing the activity. Tennis shoes and running shoes are both pillars of the sneaker trend. From walking shoes for women and men to slip on sneakers, these athletic shoes pave the way for many trends today. Let's jump into some other features of these athletic shoes. Tennis SSHOF 101 As sports medicine has developed, so too has the clothing we wear for specific sports. Instead of wearing the same athletic shoes and cotton clothing for every athletic activity, we now have specialized equipment tailored to the needs of each sport. For tennis players, the right shoes are an important component of performance and safety. Tennis shoe construction, tennis shoes allow you to move laterally. They have features such as one, less side support, the side-to-side -side movements you make in tennis put you at risk of turning your ankle. If the sides of your shoes are too padded, your ankles won't have the flexibility to move without being hampered by your shoes. Low profile, tennis shoes are also made to keep you lower to the ground, allowing for better lateral movement and less space for your ankles to twist as you chase the ball. Heavier weight, although tennis shoes have less cushioning than running shoes, they are often heavier. This is due to the focus on the stability required to keep you upright on the court. Better grip, the outsole of tennis shoes has better gripping power so you don't slide when you move around the court. This protects you through all of the stops and starts you must make during a match. Tips for finding the right tennis shoes If you play tennis, you need tennis shoes. However, there are many different types of tennis shoes out there. Selecting the right pair for your needs requires you to consider three variables. The court you're going to play tennis on, your style of play, the anatomy of your foot. Let's examine each of these factors in more detail so you know how to pick the perfect pair. Running SHOF 101 The main difference between tennis shoes vs running shoes is the type of movement they are designed for. However, if you want to start running and search for running shoes you'll be instantly overwhelmed by the many options out there. Running shoes are perfect for people who are on the lookout for beginner sneakers for working out. Most people opt to start with running as their first move in their fitness journey. Hence, the overwhelming number of choices. Like tennis shoes, running shoes come suited for specific foot types, purposes, and levels of durability. Running shoe anatomy Running shoes are designed for forward movement. This means they have more ankle support and extra cushioning than tennis shoes. However, running sneakers use the same foot mechanic designations of neutral, overpronator, and underpronator. Running shoes are divided into three categories based on these foot mechanics and what the shoes offer runners. Cushioning Shoes marketed as cushioning shoes are ideal for runners with a neutral foot. They have soft foam in the arch and heel to cushion the foot when it strikes the ground during the stride. Stability Overpredators typically wear stability shoes to help you support their arch when they run. The extra foam packed into the arch makes these shoes heavier than those for neutral runners. Motion Control Motion control shoes are designed for runners with very flat feet. These shoes have a stiffer sole and extra stabilization on the inner part of the heel. All of the extra features make these the heaviest running shoes. They are also some of the most durable. Why do runners need running shoes? If you're a runner, the right shoes can help you prevent injuries. One study conducted by the Luxembourg Institute of Health showed a decrease in injuries in overpronating runners who wore motion control shoes compared to those who wore neutral. Cushion shoes. Injuries are common in runners because running requires repetitive motions that put significant stress on your lower body. When you don't have the correct foot support, you risk excessive strain on your legs, hips, glutes, feet, and ankles. We are going to end this video right away. If you have any query or information to share, please leave a comment below. Thanks for watching.